Hello everyone, this video is going to demonstrate how to use the newton raphson method for solving uh, zeros of equations and I'll implement this algorithm in Excel. So the equation that I'm working with uh, is the same one I did for the previous demonstration. Uh, our function is cosine x minus x multiplied by e to the power x. The newton raphson method uh, would have been explained in, by your instructor in class and it comes down to this equation here. It's, uh, it's a type of fixed point iteration. If we have a current estimate xn, then we can use that to calculate the next better estimate xn plus 1 in our iterative process. And we continue uh, until we get a desired level of accuracy. This equation reads that we have xn minus the function of xn over f dash xn. The difficulty or the challenge with this is that we need to be able to take the derivative of our function. So I've done that here. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. Then treating this as uh, x times uh, as a product, the product rule would say that derivative of x is 1 times e to the x, that's that, plus uh, x times derivative of this is x times e to the x. So there's our derivative and I'm going to now implement over here. We start uh, again, n is the number of iterations, 0 is the initial guess, so I'll have to type an initial guess in here. Let's go with the number 2, just as an initial guess. I need to calculate the value of f of 2. So here it is, I'll know cosine of b4, subtract x multiplied by, so that's b4 multiplied by e to the power of, and I put the reference b4 to look at the current x value. So that's it. My current function is negative 15. Now I need the derivative of the function given here, so negative 1 multiplied by the sine of x, x is currently stored in b4, minus, now I might distribute that negative sign through here, so it's minus e to the power of x, so that's x, the xp, and then b4, and then it'll be minus, if I distribute, x multiplied by the xp of b4. That's the value of the derivative. Now uh, comes uh, those can just be copied. Don't worry about these numbers at the moment, they be should be making sense. This is the point where I need to calculate my new value of x based on the previous numbers here. So this is the one where I'm going to be implementing this formula. It starts with xn, the previous estimate, subtract now it's the function value divided by the value of the derivative. It really is as quick as that if you do these preliminary steps properly. So my initial guess was 2, my new guess is 1.34. Notice that now the function and the derivative have been evaluated at this new value of 1.34. So I can copy these down and I see that I get a new value of 0.84, 0.58, and pretty soon, very soon in fact, this method usually does converge quickly, very soon the value of the function is hitting zero. Now that's a nice little um, reminder that this is what we were trying to solve for. We were trying to solve for this when zero equaled the function, and there's my value. Notice how quickly this thing has converged. Once again, I'll do a quick plot of n versus x, on a scatter chart to have a little look here at how rapidly this converges. So the vertical scale is x, the estimate for the root of the equation, and n is the number of iterations down here. So literally within a half dozen or so iterations, we have an answer for this equation. This does depend somewhat on the first initial guess. If my first initial guess was five, then notice it takes a little bit longer before it converges, but it's still fairly good and rapid. If I had a very, very silly guess of 50, then 
after 17 iterations, I haven't converged yet. You can see it's still heading down towards the value, but it's not there yet. So this is somewhat sensitive, as all of these methods are, to the proximity of the original guess to the root of the equation. Uh, that's the newton raphson method, and uh, one of the more popular ways of finding zeros of equations numerically. The only real challenge is being able to take the derivative of the original equation. That's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and the others in the series.